Time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. The 49ers have a type, and with our number 76 on the 2023 49ers roster countdown, we have wide receiver Daz Newsom. Now, he's a wide receiver. I'm not trying to say he's not, but it's that same mold. This guy is a running back whenever he gets the ball in his hands. He is tough. He's a better football player than athlete. The metrics aren't off the charts. You just got to get the ball in his hands, and he's dangerous. That's who he is. And on top of all these things, he is young. This dude's 24 years old. He is younger than about, I don't know, a third of the wide receivers that were drafted this year. He's one year older than Ronnie Bell, who the Niners did draft this year in the draft at the wide receiver position. Fun player. I remember him. You know, He came out of UNC and just about broke almost every record they had for a slot wide receiver. I mean, he was all over the place. Very, very production heavy, all those things. He's going to wear jersey number 84 for the 49ers this year. And shout out to Josh, the 49ers guru, who just absolutely crushes it every episode with the research and all the stuff behind the scenes. Now, he's not big. He's not fast. He's not shifty. He's not any of those things. He's just a damn good football player. 5'10", 190, much smaller than what you would typically go with. So think about just kind of a shrunk down Debo. It's, I mean, he's twitched up. You see him, and it's like, all right, this dude likes the weight room. But he's not dynamic in any of the metrics. In fact, if you compare him to other wide receivers that were drafted and went through the combine process, he's under 50% in every single category Okay, against wide receivers. He's under 15% in most categories. 5'10", 190, not tall, not heavy, 29-inch arms, super short arms, 24 years old, ran a 4.57. Eh, it's just average. 10-yard split, 165, not good. So he doesn't have that elite burst, but when you watch him with the ball in his hand, he just creates 7.393 cone, not good. Vertical, 34 inches, okay, that's all right. 10-1 broad, okay. Bench press, 12 reps, all right. Nothing to really hang your hat on as this is his elite physical trait because they're not present. But when you watch the film, film don't lie. He jumps off. Now, just compared to all those measurables, listen to his player comps. Whenever you put the when you put all of his stuff into mockdraftable.com, Quan Cosby, Robert Woods, Deontay Johnson, Jamison Crowder. Those are the four names that kind of come up. And what do all those guys have in common? Undersized, better football players than athletes. He's entering into his third season and hasn't really done much in the NFL. He was drafted in the sixth round by the Bears, kind of bounced around. We'll get into that. Now, what did he do before he was drafted? Went to Hampton High School. Um, you know, his whole family, a lot of people played for Virginia Tech. We'll get, we'll get into all those things. And he was going to go to Maryland. But he chose to go to the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, because they told him you'll be able to play cornerback and returner, which is what he wanted to do. Now, if you look at what he did in high school, wide receiver, running back, cornerback, uh, returner, did a little bit of everything. His senior year, he was the Daily Press Offensive Player of the Year. He had 35 touchdowns in one year. Listen to the way he scored these 35. One year. He had 28 rushing touchdowns, three receiving touchdowns, two punt returns for a touchdown, and two pick sixes. You just got to get the ball in his hands. So, again, whenever I watched his tape, first thing I said was, dude, this is a running back that is playing wide receiver. And now the 5'10", 190, that makes it very difficult to be a running back in the NFL. But he's that kind of hybrid slot, jet sweep, returner, screen player. That's who he is. Um... Now, some of the stuff that he did in high school track, he ran an 11-1 100-meter dash. Not blazing, but not slow. 22.2 um, 200-meter. That's a much better time. 51.9 uh, in the 400-meter. That's not really that great. The 200-meter the time is the one that stood out to me the most. So that tells me his acceleration's not incredible. His top-end speed's not incredible. But that third gear, that's pretty solid. If you can get him moving, watch out. Now, he was going to go to Maryland, and then he switched to North Carolina because 
uh, UNC told him you can play corner and returner. Well, that didn't last long. Um, after his freshman season, they put him back on the offensive side. He wasn't cracking the depth chart there. Um, and once he switched right after his freshman year, second team all ACC, all ACC honorable mention, all over the place. Now you're talking about somebody that had you know well over 2,000 yards um, in his time there. Just put up a lot, a lot of numbers. His dad, Myron Newsom. Played for Virginia Tech, then went on to the CFL. His brother, Dion, currently plays safety for Virginia Tech. It's an athletic family. Now, he gets drafted in the sixth round, picked 221 by the Chicago Bears in the 2021 draft. You know, I I looked back. Who did the Niners take right around there? Elijah Mitchell. Elijah Mitchell went about 20 picks before Daz Newsom. Not a lot of other prominent players outside of those two, you know, from, you know, where Elijah was picked down. It was really a bad wide receiver draft unless you were picking early in the first round. And if you look at what he's done in the NFL, two catches, 23 yards. Hasn't done much. Uh, broke his collarbone his rookie season. And once he came back, just couldn't crack the lineup. Really couldn't. And, you know, he he's bounced around. He was with the Bears for two years. Then Kansas City picked him up late November to the practice squad. Um, and then they released him. We picked him up two weeks after that. So the Niners picked up Daz Newsom November 15, 2022. Just kept him on the practice squad till the entire year ran out. Then they signed him to a reserve contract January 31st, 2023. So right as soon as the season ended, they brought him back for a futures deal. I, I think he fits a lot of what the Niners want to do. Again, my film analysis of them, I, I just kept writing down, better football player than athlete. Speed doesn't flash. Shiftiness doesn't flash. It's just the dude just produces. Uh, small but tough with great hands. All of the drops that I saw were concentration drops, taking his eyes off the ball. But this dude plucks the ball well. Uh, discipline seemed to be a concern. Um, was suspended one game. In college, because he overslept, uh, missed a morning meeting. That was it. That's all I could find off the field stuff. But it's put up or shut up time for Daz. I mean, you went through the Bears, who have terrible wide receivers, couldn't catch on. Then you went to the Chiefs with a great play caller and great quarterback, couldn't catch on. Now you're with the Niners. How many more teams are going to give you chances? Now he's 24. But teams that value the yards after catch ability, the returner ability, they're going to like this guy. I said, looks like a running back with a ball in his hands. Great at stemming at the top of his routes, which I did not expect. Um, the biggest problem was he was a slot only. Can't play him outside. It's just he's too small. He'll get jammed up. He's going to be a slot only guy. And my whole time watching his tape, I was like, dude, this looks like a Ray Ray McLeod insurance policy. And not trying to be disrespectful, like, I want Daz to get a shot somewhere. And there's a lot of wide receivers. I think that he has a very <laughs> particular set of skills um, that fit what the Niners want. As a returner, as a slot guy, as a jet sweep guy, as all, the orbit motion guy, all those things. And so you've got Debo, and when Debo went out, Ray Ray stepped in admirably well, had the huge jet sweep for a touchdown. I would be willing to bet if... Ray Ray went down, Daz Newsom would be the first guy to jump up in his spot. Now, Ronnie Bell has a word to say with that, but I think Daz Newsom is much more Ray Ray McLeod um, than Ronnie Bell is. Ronnie Bell offers some other very key things that Daz doesn't bring. And so th that's where I've got Daz. Do I think that he makes this roster? No, but I think the Niners like him. And I think with him only being 24 years old and Ray Ray McLeod and Jawan Jennings being in contract years, I could totally see the Niners hang on to Daz for this whole entire year, and then he has a shot the following year to compete as the returner. So we got him number 76. Do I think he makes his 53-man roster? I do not. But if something were to happen to Ray Ray, which I don't want to happen, I think Daz is the first person that gets those return snaps. I think he's the first one that starts working in behind Debo, especially for select pass it packages like jet sweeps and whatever else. So fun player, fits Kyle Shanahan to a T. Shanahan loves his wide receivers, and they got a glimpse of him last year, brought him back immediately this year. I don't think Daz Newsom's going anywhere anytime soon. I think he's going to be on and off this practice squad, and if they get caught in a pinch, I think Kyle would be fine relying on him. And I'm telling you, once this guy gets the ball in his hands 
everybody's going to be like, oh, yep, there it is. There it is. You just got to get it there, right? You got to scheme them open a little bit, which Kyle can do. So that's number 76, wide receiver Daz Newsome. Excited to see what he can bring. And for us, we're just going to keep counting them down.